So from now on, we are going to use this result to generate a cell based on it. So basically, simple one, I'm going to use a sphere. So sphere need base point and radius. So I'm going to use a point cell, which is the center coordinate. So now you see that everything is populated. And now I'm going to use this cell state true and false to really select which one is alive and which one is dead. And actually, if I connect cell status to radius, you see that this one is survived. So what's going on here is when the, when the t is 0, this one is t0, which is the first point that I selected. This one is t is 1, t is 2, t is 3, t is 4, 5. So now kind of it is kind of generated. So then now this one is become still life after t is something else. So what I if I if I change so first of all what I'm going to do is so this one is a little bit too big. What is the value of true in the num in terms of number? True false one or zero. So I divide it by divide it as by two. So this one is basically 1, I divide it by 2, then I connect it to B, and if I connect it to radius, it becomes half size. So this one is living cell. And if I test it, this will work the same, so you can test it. So 0. 1, 2, and then kind of you keep generated. So if, if I want to change the initial condition, so I will repopulate the initial point somewhere, let's say, some left lower corner and the bottom. You can select any point you want to. And then, then actually that this one is actually different, that the result is actually different. So this one is when the initial point I selected and this one become generated. So this one is kind of like space ships. It's kind of rotating and moving and and then you can even change the rules. So now let's say that only when three is resurvive, you can also change you can add one more, which is when I don't know what it happens, so I will connect it to here, then you will see something different result. You see that? So now your assignment is, okay, I will stop it here.